Donna J. Johnhan presents Your Mental Stretch with Donna podcast A monthly podcast that shows you how to use your mind and imagination to help you become more productive at what you do Donna shows you how easy it is to get rid of cobwebs and clutter in your mind and imagination and to spark and stimulate your creative juices The Mental Stretch can be done anywhere at any time of the day and for any length of time. See how you can overcome trauma, drama, and stress by engaging in Donna's mental stretch. For after all, the mental stretch is just another way for you to relax, recharge, regurgitate, and renew. No more stress and sadness. No more feelings of being overwhelmed and being overtaken. Sit back and let Donna show you how her mental stretch can help you to be free from those everyday challenges and irritants. It's time to start your mental stretch. Hello there! I'm Donna J. Johnhan, your host for your mental stretch with Donna. And guess what, folks? We are up to the month of August 2024. Yes, indeed. It has been a very interesting summer. So many things going on for so many people. And now it is time for us to start thinking of the fall, believe it or not. But you know what? That's not why I am really here. It's not why I'm here to remind you of the oncoming fall. Welcome to my Mental Stretch with Donna, your Mental Stretch with Donna. And I'd like to thank all those who have been continuing to stop by to provide me with their thoughts, their suggestions, their comments, and their feedback. And to encourage me to keep on going with my podcast, Your Mental Stretch with Donna. This podcast is meant to help people manage their mental resources, their mental capabilities, and their mental abilities. And I take great pride in sharing with you the many emails that I continue to receive, and it's an increasing bag of emails telling me how much they are enjoying my podcast and how it is helping them. So, thank you listeners, thank you readers, thank you to my brother in Montreal, Mike Cicello, for continuing to produce my podcast for me. <clears throat> I have a bit of a head cold, so I'm going to do my best not to cough too much. Let us start with the message for the month of August. Let us use this summer to help us maintain our positive outlook and to get ready for the oncoming fall and winter. Okay? So, what can we do to help us get ready? Let's just enjoy the summer, the great weather, the outdoor activities, the trips, the road trips, the any other kinds of trips that we have planned for this summer. So that is my message for the month of August. Next, I'd like to share with you my Etsy announcement. That's E-T-S-E announcement. In June, I launched my Etsy initiative and it's not just about you going to my website and buying my products. It's about encouraging you to create and develop and to think outside the box to motivate you to create and to stretch your mind, really stretch your mental capabilities, stretch your imagination and your mind and increase your creative juices. This is what my Etsy website is all about. Want to know more? Write to me at donnajodhen at gmail.com That's D-O-N-N-A-J-O-D-H-A-N 
at gmail.com and I would be delighted to chat with you more about my Etsy initiative. You can also go to my YouTube channel and check out my Etsy announcements. Right, so let's get ready for this month's podcast. I'm going to be talking about motivators for you and they are alphabetical motivators. Okay. Then I'm going to be um, talking about quotes to ponder, another motivator for you. All right. And then I'm going to be talking about giving you a brain teaser to stretch your mind and your imagination. Okay. Right. And then in order to give you something else to think about, I'm going to get you thinking about favorite alphabetical names. Okay. You get the picture now? All right. Let me just end my podcast or my podcast will end with a wishable that you can concentrate on. Okay. Now, what is my mental stretch all about? It's all about providing you with the SMA principle, all right? Mental stretchers, mental motivators, and mental activators. And throughout this podcast, I will show you all about these mental stretchers, the motivators, and the activators. These are principles of mine. My podcast is based on the MIC strategy, M-I-C. It is all about clearing your mind and your imagination of cobwebs and clutter and to increase your creative juices by stimulating them and sparking them. So you have two things to work with. The SMA principle, which is stretchers, motivators, and activators. And the MIC principle, clearing your mind and your imagination of cobwebs and clutter, and sparking and stimulating your creative juices. Now, folks, you're wondering, well, how is all this going to be accomplished? And I'll show you how. First of all, you can do my mental stretch at any time of the day, from when you wake up in the morning to before your breakfast, after breakfast, mid-morning, before lunch, after lunch, during the afternoon, before supper, after supper, before going to bed. So you can do it at any time of the day for any length of time, okay? And you can do it anywhere, from the comfort of your bed to your, you know, kitchen table to your relaxing chair while you're walking in the park, while you're walking in the mall, you know, almost anywhere. It is practical, logical, and natural. And it's all about you managing your mental abilities and capabilities and your mental resources. I can guarantee you that you can use my mental stretch to help you deal with such things as trauma, drama, stress, distress, unexpected time crunches, and unexpected organizational crunches. All right, let's start with the mental stretchers, okay? What this is all about is using a different sense to stretch your mind and your imagination. And for this session, we're going to concentrate on using the sense of hearing, okay? Let's pretend here. You may not be close to a train track. But use your mind and your imagination to think of the whistles of a train as it travels along the track. Especially so as late at night 
or early in the morning. I can't really imitate a train whistle or a train horn, but it goes something like something like that. But let's concentrate on the sound that is being provided here. How about this? Pots and pans rattling in the kitchen. Getting ready to cook a meal, getting ready to make breakfast. Think of, think of pots and pans rattling in your kitchen. Here's another suggestion for you. Think of cyclists riding along the path as you walk by they whoosh by, whoosh, 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 and they are enjoying their ride for the morning, early morning or late afternoon or early evening. Think of these three suggestions, the train whistle, the pots and pans, or the cyclist pushing along the path, okay? Want to give me your feedback? Send me an email to donnajodhan at gmail.com. Right. So that's for the sense of hearing. And you could also use your sense of sight along with this, you know. Think of seeing a train. Think of, you know, pots and pans on your countertop. Or think of the cyclists themselves dressed in their cycling clothes as they whoosh along or ride along. Okay, now for using the sense of smell. Okay, are you ready? Sense of smell. Think of lavender. Now, for this part of my podcast, I'm going to ask you to think of your nostrils picking up the sense of lavender. Your nostrils become the leader or becomes the leader or the charge to your mental stretch. Because when the nostrils inhale the lavender or the scent of lavender, it soon starts to send the message, starting with your toes, your feet your legs, your thighs, your knees, your calves, and up and up it goes until it reaches your brain. The sense of lavender is orchestrated by your nostrils. Your nostrils are being tickled by the sense of lavender. And soon enough, your brain says, <coughs> excuse me, it's time to start opening up your mind and your imagination to clear the cobwebs and the clutter. Sense of lavender. Sense of geraniums. Geranium, that's a lovely, mild scent. A bit different from lavender. Lavender is a bit more aggressive in the way it comes across, but geraniums are nice and gentle. And again, what your nostrils does is that it sends a message starting with your toes, then your feet, then your legs, your calves, your knees, your thighs, up and up it goes to your stomach, your back, and then to your brain. And soon the brain says, hey, 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 wake up imagination, wake up mind, start stretching. Start thinking. Start being able to recharge and reformat. Scent of geraniums. Scent of jasmine. Another scent for you to concentrate on. The f jasmine flower is a beautiful flower. And you may not have a jasmine close by. But let's use the imagination and mind your mind and your imagination to stretch, stretch, stretch. Your nostrils is going to help you do the work. It's going to imagine the scent of jasmine and it's going to send the message throughout your body until it reaches your brain. And then the real work begins or the real fun begins, okay? So this is it for this using the scent of sense of smell. To stretch your mental capacity, your mental ability, 
your mental resources, okay? Lavender, geranium, and jasmine. Send me an email and tell me what you think to donnajodhan at gmail.com, okay? All right. Here's another mental stretcher for you. Using the scent of taste. Here we go. Think of a glass of cool milk. <clears throat> and this time, it is going to be your palate or your tongue that is going to lead the charge using the sense of taste. A glass of cool milk. Mm -mm -mm. Sweet, cool milk. You can even visualize the glass in front of you filled with cool milk. How about a taco? I love tacos, you know, so I'm going to impose my preference on you here. A taco filled with nice, juicy veggies in it, ground beef and oodles of sour cream. Just think of biting into this taco. So you're not only using your sense of taste, which your tongue or your palate is directing you to do. You can also use your sense of sight to help you, or even the sense of hearing as you bite into this taco. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Okay, so your palate or your tongue is going to lead the charge with regard to the sense of taste. And voila, or presto, it's going to start with your toes, to your feet, to your legs, to your calves, to your knees, to your thighs, up through your tummy. Yes, your tummy has to get involved in this, in tasting a taco. And up through your back and up to your brain, where the brain says, wake up, mind, wake up, imagination. It is time to use your sense of taste to help you out. Another mental stretcher. And my last suggestion for this month is lemon meringue pie. Hot or cold, it doesn't matter. Your tongue or your palate is going to help you out and spread the message throughout your body and to help you get your mind and your imagination active. Clear the cobwebs, clear the clutter. It works, I'm telling you it works because I have tried all of these methods. Send me an email to donnajodhan at gmail.com. That's D-O-N-N-A-J-O-D-H-A-N at gmail.com. Of course, you can visualize your lemon meringue pie as well as you eat it, right? Nothing wrong with that. And for my final mental stretcher, it is using the sense of touch. And for this time, your fingers and your feet, or your toes, your fingers and your toes are going to be the ones that start the charge. Okay? Sense of touch. Shells on a beach. And you're going to say, well, I'm not close to a, a beach. That's okay. Get your mind and your imagination to think of touching those shells on a beach. Or you know what? You can simulate this by getting some shells, placing them in some sand, okay, in a little sandbox, and then run your fingers over them, slowly and gently. And you would be amazed to see how this can help you get started, how this can get your mind and your imagination in gear. Touch those shells, feel them, feel the sand over them. Each little grain of sand covering each little shell. Okay? Your fingers are going to help you out this time and you are going to see results as soon as you start to touch these shells. How about a cool drinking glass? Make sure that the glass is cool. Place your hands around the glass and you know what? You're going to feel an immediate jerk through your fingers. A really immediate jerk. 
and I'm, I'm going to guarantee that your imagination and your, and your mind are not going to wait for the rest of your body to wake them up. They're going to wake up on their own. Put your hands around a cool glass, cool drinking glass, and see what happens. And finally, my suggestion for the sense of touch is a damp railing. Run your hands along a damp railing, but you've got to wait until it rains, of course. Or you could just pour some water over a railing on your balcony or in your garden. Run your hands over it. Let your fingers do the walking. And I trust me when I tell you, this is going to give you another jerk. All right? Send me an email to donnajohnhen at gmail.com with your thoughts and your feedback. Those are my mental stretchers. And now I'm going to move on to the alphabetical motivators. Okay? We're going to use the letter L. And here goes. Laborious. Good laborious work is a great tonic or a great medicine for helping you to recharge, reformat, and renew. Also gives you a good workout. A lake. Think of a nice, peaceful lake. You may not be close to one. That's okay. You can use a picture of a lake to help you out. Or just simply sit there and think of visualizing a lake. How about this one? A lamb. Nothing better than looking at the innocent little lamb as they graze in a field or a meadow. Okay? A little lamb. So gentle, so innocent, so trusting. Ways to motivate you. Laptop. Need I say more? Some of us need a laptop to help us get started, to help us get writing. Nothing wrong with that, or to help us get surfing. Laptop. Lavish. <clears throat> Think of preparing a lavish meal. Yeah, a lavish meal for either yourself, your friends, or your family. Use your mind and your imagination to help you construct what you think constitute constitutes a lavish meal. Lead. How would you like to be the lead in a show or a lead in some sort of initiative? Gives you the energy to get up and go. Lead. Lively. Think of a lively piece of music, a lively dance movement, a lively session. It may be lots of noise, which you may not really like, but think of the atmosphere being created by lively. Okay? All right. Love. Time to spread some love among friends and family. Why not? Let's do it. Love. Lovely. A lovely piece of uh, jewelry, a lovely dress, a lovely jacket, a lovely anything. Positive thinking motivates you. Loving. Lush. Lush meadows, lush fields. Think of visualizing it. Another mental motivator for you to work with. That's it for the letter L. Okay. Now I'm going to give you a quote to ponder to help motivate you. And here goes. Keep people in your life that truly motivate you, love you, encourage you, inspire you, enhance you, and make you happy. If you have people that do not do none of the above, let them go. Okay? This is an unknown author. This is a wonderful quote, and if you really want to get it from me, write to me at donnajodhen at gmail.com 
and I would be happy to send this particular quote to you. Okay, okay. <clears throat> and here is my brain teaser for this week. Another mental motivator. Which is your favorite? The moon or the sun? The moon at night or the sun by day? The gentle moon or the aggressive sun as it rains its beams down on you? Moon or sun? Another mental motivator. Okay. And for my final mental motivator, your favorite alphabetical names. Using the letter L. For me, if it's a guy, I like the name Liam. L-I-A-M. If it's a girl, I'm not sure. Maybe Lana um, Lee. L-E-E. -E. For a guy, it could be Lee as well. Um, for a girl, it could be Lauren. L-A-U-R-I-N. And for a guy, I can't really think... Oh, I like the name Lewis, L-E-W-I-S, or Louis, L-O-U-I-S. <clears throat> That's my mental motivator using the letter L. Okay? And I'm going to end my Mental Stretch podcast for August with an activator for you. I'm going to wish for everyone a fountain of freedom. And what this is, it's all about freedom. Your ability to think freely, to speak freely, to do freely. A fountain of freedom. Think about it. Free as a bird. And you know, one of my favorite songs is Born Free. As free as the wind blows. As free as the grass grows, born free to follow your heart. Live free and beauty surrounds you. The world still astounds you, it's time to look at the stars. Stay free and no walls divide you. It's free as the roaring tide and there is no need to hide. These are the words of born free my mental activator for this week. That's it for me, the folks, for this month. Okay, I should say this month, not this week, this month. I hope you enjoyed my mental stretch. I encourage you and urge you to write to me at Donna Jodham on gmail.com and I would be pleased to respond to you. Guys, take care. Have a good rest of August. Stay safe and I will see you next month. Bye for now. That's it for this month. Donna hopes you enjoyed your mental stretch for today. She invites you to write at AskDonna on BlindLife at gmail.com Share your thoughts and feedback. Stay well and stay safe. Until next month.